Yo guys, what is up? Here's your boy Clixy, and in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about how you can play competitive in Crunker.io. One of the most common questions in my streams are how can you get better at Crunker? And the answer is actually pretty simple just play competitive. When you go up against players at your skill level or above, you're naturally gonna improve. And with enough experience and practice, you might also win a tournament. So in today's video, I will walk you through how to start your competitive Crunker journey step by step. Let's get right into it. Crunker no longer has an esports tab. But don't worry, you can still join the competitive scene. To find the official competitive servers, go to Crunker Bunker. That's where you'll find the links to all the regional competitive servers. We will also drop the links down in the video description to make it easier for you. Once you're in, you will see three main options. NEC for North American players, KPC for European players, CKA for Asian players. Each server has different requirements, but don't worry, it's nothing too difficult to achieve. Once you've picked the right server for your region, it's time to get validated. I will be using KPC as an example, but the process is similar across the other servers, so don't worry. Before you can start playing, you need to link your Crunker account with your Discord account. And here's how to do it. Make sure you're in a Discord server with the Gamebot. You can, for example, join my Discord, which will also be down in the description. There is the Gamebot. Then you type the command g.link with your Crunker IGN, as you can see in this example. And then follow the instruction to complete the linking process. After that, go to the validation channel of your competitive server and type g.profile, as you can see here. This tells the bot to check your account. Now, you just have to wait for a moderator to verify you. This can take some time, so be patient. Once you're verified, you will be assigned a tier one or a tier two role, depending on your stats. You can move up or down the tiers based on your performance in the matches that you will be playing. A quick note, NEC uses a slightly different system for commands, but the overall process is similar. If anything changes, just ask in the Discord for help. Now that you're verified, it's your time to queue up for your first match. Instead of using text commands, both KPC and NEC now have an open queue system. Go to the open queue channel in Discord, click on the join queue button. Once the queue is full, a voice channel will be automatically created. Join it to confirm that you are playing, so the bot knows if someone is AFK or not. Then two captains are gonna be selected by their ELO, that's their rank basically. If you're chosen as a captain, you no longer need to type a comment to pick your team. Instead, click on the player's name in the Discord channel to add them to your team. The pick order is still the same, BAA BBA. Once the team are set, it's time to start the match. One player in the lobby will host the match, or you can host it yourself. Just make sure you select the correct region, choose the right map. Once the match is created, the game link will now be posted in the same queue channel you joined earlier. This means you don't need to search for the link in a separate links channel anymore. It will always be right there in the queue channel. Join the lobby and let's get into the game. This is the famous AK-47. With over 50 million manufactured in 10 countries, the AK-47 is the most popular assault rifle in the world. This is the Chinese model. You can tell by the extra rivets running through the metal struts. Competitive Kranka is played as a 4v4 hardpoint match on a selected map. You have 4 minutes to gain as many points as possible, and the team with the most points at the end wins the round. It's a best of 3 format, so the first team to win 2 rounds takes the match. Once the game is over, you no longer need to type a command to report the results. Instead, click on the direction of the cue bot to the team that won. If at least 5 people select the same winning team, the team automatically gets the win assigned. And that's it, you've just played your first competitive Crunker match. Congrats! Hopefully this video helped you with your competitive Crunker journey. 
If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe to see more content and maybe we will see each other in a few comp games. Peace out.